I, what do you want I, me to the do? The year-end program is underway. No, I thought we don't we have next week. Well, yeah. Okay. Greg won't be here though. But I won't be here. So. Um, it, then I don't think we should show up either. Because <laughs> without Greg, it's not Mark a show. Will be here. Yeah, Mark's us. a good substitute. He needs us to carry him. Yeah. <laughs> So, welcome back. We missed Thank you. you. Is your friend okay? He's fine. Good. Good. He's fine. So Mark, far, so good. You were a uh, saint I was a last dutiful week. friend who took a friend to the hospital to have a heart cath done. Wow. Getting up at quarter to four in the morning or something like good. that. Good. Yeah. I would have made him schedule it after the radio <laughs> show, but... Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, so, how would... How would people get a hold of us here at Thinking Real Estate if, if they so chose? To here do, at the radio if station? They chose to, if, if people choose to call us or email us. Yeah. 787-3397. Are they? Mark's back, so that means the computer is here. Mm -hmm. And that's Mark. You didn't have it last week? No. Mark at thinkingrealestate.com. Right. I have to focus. I can't multitask like that. I have noticed that about you. And I had Bill here, so I really need to focus. <laughs> but he carried the show. I think. Yeah, about two questions. No, we had three. I three. Think. Three. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Call some statistics. No, just. Oh, just no, hey, there wasn't. That's all it took. There it took wasn't time. We couldn't get a call in. Right. Exactly. Do you have your Christmas shopping done? Uh, just about. Jackie is my <laughs> challenge this year. Despite the fact she's so perfect, she's still my challenge. Can I Money's say? always good. Yeah. No, gift, not this year. Gift, no, uh, gift cards. I, Money. You know, the, gas cards. The news said a house? not to. How about a house? <laughs> yeah. The news, yeah, really. The news said not to give gift, gift cards because the only one who wins are the stores because people don't tend to use them. Got it. So that keeps the economy flowing. Well, there you go. Mm hmm. So I did some stats. I pulled stats, real estate stats. Okay. Wow. Statistics. We'll see how they compare what to what I did know? last you week. You are so prepared, Mark. <laughs> I went in at 8 o'clock this morning. I saw your car there. By the way, happy birthday. It's not my birthday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, yeah, well. Can we sing to him now? Yes. Go ahead. No, please don't. Birthday. It's okay. <laughs> did Ron call you? Happy birthday. At 5 o'clock this morning. Ron did, did he really? Yes. God, he's a good guy. Yeah. And you know who else's birthday is tomorrow? It's Dana Howell. That's right. They're twins we with different brain. parents. She's much they older shared, than I. They share a brain. She's much older than I. Do you know Dana? I, I guess I don't. She's, she's a real estate agent. She's one of the most kindest, giving people you will ever meet. Well, I've But she her. can be a tough cookie, too. So she's a good balance. But <laughs> Wow, she, uh, that covers person. the gamut. Yeah, she's very kind. Nice and tough, huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, she is a... Uh, She's a real estate broker. She's a for ERA. A competitor. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, ERA. <laughs> anyway. You guys all get along. Yeah, we do. You we do. do. We do. There's a, do you want us to name the ones we don't? No, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, yes, I do. Let me get my list. <laughs> I can count them on one hand. Anyway. That's another, I can't even that's think another of any. show. I just can't even think of any. Go ahead. Uh, anyway. Anyway. I'm 39 tomorrow. I don't think that's true. It is, as far as you know. Mm -mm. As far as they know. I think you're 51. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, stats. I pulled some statistics. What do you want to know? Well, what do you want to tell us? You tell How us. How about what um, all I have sold from 2010? Um, the average sold, in, in this is all of Jackson County residential. Mm -hmm. And this is everything, no matter right. whether it was foreclosure. Short sale, foreclosure, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, average days on the market, 109 days. Average sold price, $81,067. And then the foreclosures for the same period, average days on the market, 82 days. So that is a good, what, 25% less. And... Average sold price fifty thousand one hundred and sixty. Okay. So that's. So what is it this year? Uh, this year. What's the average? Average days on the market last year compared to this year. Let's start there. Uh, two thousand eleven average days on the market one hundred and seventeen, and last year was uh, one hundred and nine. Yeah, about the same. For all of them. Yep. And then the four. That's probably those short sales. Last, affecting the average days on the market. Last year, average foreclosures, days on the market, 82. This year, 80. Okay, about the same. 
Uh, last year, average foreclosure price of fifty thousand one sixty. This year, forty five one twenty three. Yep. So we're down ten percent. Yep. And then all of them, all categories, eighty one thousand sixty seven dollars last year. This year, seventy eight six oh seven. Yep. Pretty close. Yeah, that that tracks with what I've been saying. Now, non distressed. Last week we announced that non distressed sellers. In the county are at one fourteen average sale price. Mm -hmm. I didn't pull that stat. And short sales were I think eighty, eighty four, eighty four maybe, but to almost double the foreclosures of which you said was forty five. No county. Oh, county. County. Yes, forty five one twenty three. Yeah. And I also pulled city stats. Do you want to know about those? Sure. Um, Two thousand and. Ten uh, non foreclosures were 150 days on the market with an average sold price of no 83 days on the market with an average sold price of 22,682. Wow! In the city, buy a car. Uh, Jeez. 2011 non foreclosures. Or no, foreclosures? Where's my foreclosures? I don't know you. I have way too many papers. Here, here they are. 2011 foreclosures in the city. Average days on the market is 75. And average sold price, 21 So we lost about $500? Yeah. A actually, about $1,000. Non-foreclosures so in the city. You could buy a house instead of a car. Right? Yeah. Well, you could. Yeah. Uh, non foreclosures this year, average days on the market in the city, 135 days with an average sold price of 49103, which is 56% higher than the foreclosures. That's good. Yep. So, you know, we uh, in the city demoed our first two houses. So, what do you think the dem? Did you see that in the paper? I did on, on Morrell Street. Corner of Morrell and well, uh, first was mm -hmm. one, and the other one was 208 East Morale. And uh, the only one, I didn't drive past the one on East Morale, but I was at the one on the corner of First and West Morale. That was quick. What was quick? The, the plan of action to actually starting the demolition. Well, they had been working on that a long time. Apparently there was a fire in there, and a, there's been a lot of and stuff, it, and so the insurance been... company paid for the demo of the one on the corner of Morale and first. Oh, so that was not city owned? It was a land bank owned actually Got it. in the city. Yeah, it was the, pretty well gutted, wasn't it? That yeah, house? it was a mess. I yeah. mean, that thing, I I would have been afraid to walk through that thing. Even I mean, with, it was even a mess. With a bulldozer? No, that did was Did you drive fun. the bulldozer? Yeah, I did. I did. That was really, I can see why guys get off on that. <laughs> Are you awake there, Greg? Yeah. <laughs> I am now. But I think, I mean, I, I, as they're tearing that down, you can just really <clears throat> see how that's going to make a huge difference in the value of neighborhoods. I mean, now we aren't going to jump, shoot right up, but it's going to increase the safety and aesthetics of the neighbor well, and homes. There, you're going to have a hole on the corner. Well, the, no, they, they're going to take the curb cuts out, and then they're going to, so you, you know, where the driveways are, and then they're going to grade it and seed it, and so it will be grass. Okay. So it won't be a hole, it will be grass. But it'll be It'll just, be better looking than that darn building that was there. You're right. Believe me. And not a hazard. And not a hazard. And I actually thought once they started with the claw, that we'd see rodents galore coming out of there, and but didn't? we didn't. Do you have any idea what that cost to take out? I'm guessing eight thousand. I don't, but that's just a guess. I don't know. So you don't know. I don't know. Got it. That'd be interesting to know. Wow. That. Well, the only reason I, I say that is, I bet it's more than that. We had uh, we Who's tried to get we that? had a quote get a quote on a the bill. insurance company paid yeah over. for that one, but we had a um, quote on a house to demo. And it was about eight grand. Oh, so that's that's why you say that. So right. you're not totally just pulling that out of right the air. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so, um, and I don't think there was anything in there to strip. Although I'm sure if there was, somebody probably it was probably already gone. 
If there was. Yeah. Would be my guess. That was a mess. I couldn't believe how bad that house was. And the neighbor's houses are, are nice. New roofs and neighbors are glad to see it gone. Good. Good. I think that's a good plan. Yeah. Yeah. Exciting. But it'll be slow. It'll be slow because the city doesn't own a well, lot of the properties and we don't have any money. Two big issues. Yeah. Two huge issues. Yeah. So, uh, but they're being So creative. now you're on the council and you can probably find money, some, some extra cash. <laughs> in, my pack, in my pocket or something. I don't know. We know how that works out. <laughs> right, exactly. You snoop around downtown and you know, <laughs> find some money down there. Right. Well, the county just came up with extra money, didn't they? They were real frugal on how they ran their county. Yeah. And they're putting that towards the demo of the Sheridan or whatever name you want to call it. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it as the Sheridan. The hotel. Right. Yeah. What was the name of that bar there? Oh, the oh, Library right. Lounge. Library Lounge. I never went to it. Did, did you go to it? No. <laughs> I, was, I was in high school. Was it, when was that built? 1976. <laughs> or something I was a like senior that. in high school. That was a disco. You don't that's remember where that I, bar? I have to, that was where I first saw my husband was at the Sheridan Hotel. <laughs> okay. He taught a continuing education class. Then that should be a shrine. <laughs> exactly. They should save it just for that reason. Why don't you buy it? Fix it up. They don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so a couple more stats and then we can move on to these I thought other, we already moved to on. Other right. well, I have one more because I think this is, since we're sitting in Summit Township, I pulled Summit Township stats as well. Oh, did you pull stats for this neighborhood in particular? No. Oh, okay. Probably aren't there. Um, right? No, but I did see a Porsche. New Porsche sitting down the street. Nice car, too. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> He's a car <laughs> What? I See, and I didn't even notice it. Uh, 2010 foreclosures in Summit Township. The sold price. Average day on the market was 78, I think it says. 78 days with an average sold price of 53,871. In 2011. And that's compared to the city's 22,000. Yep. In okay. 2011, same thing. 88 days with 55. 154 in non foreclosures for Summit Township, $111.64. Compared to the city at 49 Yeah, so double. Yeah. More than double. Mm -hmm. And prices were up uh, over 2010 by 15%. In so it's Township. a deal to move into the city. It is a deal. Mm -hmm. So it was 111 non distressed? Non distressed. Okay. I would, does that say how many actives we have? No, I didn't pull actives. Okay. I can tell you how many actives and in, in what in what category? Uh, residential, residential, just in the whole MLS. Sure, in the county, we don't care about right because our MLS covers a lot of. What's area. MLS? Multiple listing service. Well, you got to explain that to the listener. That's where we put they all of our it. listings, and okay. that's where I can find any house that you want to see. I can show you. Online. Uh, well, I can take you there. I don't oh. have to. You, if you want to look and buy it online, you can. Okay. But you should. I recommend at least probably visit at, it. Visit it. Yeah. And I also tell people they don't have to buy a house they don't like. We have a thousand ninety-eight residential <laughs> listings in Jackson County oh, right now. Okay. That's kind of low. That's okay. just residential. Yeah. All well, actives. Usually, I thought we were around like two thousand. How many? No, yeah. that's I, that's for I everything. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What's 1,098. It's yeah. usually like 1,200 or yeah, so for I mean. residential. What's the average price? Uh, the oh. average price is... See how fast your computer... Your computer runs faster than mine. I'm getting a new computer after the first of the year. <laughs> the average <laughs> list price... I make that commitment. That's my New Year's resolution. <laughs> the average list price is 136,332. Oh, compared to the uh, average sale price of... Uh, the average sold price of uh, seventy-eight six oh seven. Mm -hmm. So basically, a fifty thousand dollars swing. Mm -hmm. Not that you should offer fifty thousand less. No comment. People can offer whatever they choose. Yeah. Right. We present them. There you go. So I pulled out my, I still have my notes from that seminar or something I went to on December 12th, 2008. So in 1980s. 2008? <laughs> yeah, 2008 they said in the 1980s housing sales declined by 50%, mostly because of high interest rates. And we're kind of at that same situation. Except interest rates are tiny. Tiny. So why did we decline? Because people are. Don't have jobs? Well, yeah. And, and they're Bubble bust. 
Well, the, I, I actually heard this morning that housing is, housing starts on multifamily units is up because people are now renting rather than buying. Yeah, but if you pull the stats on multifamily units for sale, they're they're harder than heck to sell. Oh, also, you know, we might want to mention how are rents right now. Uh, I think so they're kind of high. They're, up, down, they're high, level. but I've heard, I've heard a few landlords tell me they're gonna they drop theirs a little bit because they've got vacancies. So, I don't think the multifamily starts are here in Jackson County. No, that was I, I heard that on Morning Joe this morning. Oh, okay. But speaking of multifamily, if you've got a house in the city, they're gonna start toughening up. If you if if I've got a buyer who wants to buy a single family resident and turn it into a two unit, city's not gonna let you do that. So be careful and make sure you even if it's zone multifamily? If it's a single family home that is zone multifamily. I don't think they're gonna let you turn it into well, a how two can they not? Why? Why not? I see that as an issue. Well, maybe I, it's only R one. Woman. We haven't started talking about that, but there's a lot of um condemnations out there on properties. Some of these foreclosures that have a lot of issues have been condemned and if the, the bank's selling them as is maybe you'll save more properties like that I, I don't by turning them into multifamily well i don't know if well we need more creative. single family than, i mean we're 50 percent non-owner occupied right now but In the um, city. all i'm saying is as a buyer or as you and i as an agent we need to make sure that they check the city records for any um Viol code violations that might be on that property. Which that before I have somebody been going can, on right now. Yeah, and that before someone can occupy it uh, as a, now occupying as I think as a single family versus a multifamily is a little bit different. So if they're going to... Because a code violation on a single family isn't, they're not going to check that, the city. Right, but if it's a multifamily property and somebody's going to buy it and turn it back into single family, there may be some code violations on there. And whether or not, if they're going to turn it into single family, whether they're going to enforce those, I don't know. But all I'm saying is we need to make sure we check the records. Because, hmm. and if it's a bank owned, you think the bank's going to clear those violations up or take that condemnation well, off? Well, I have some multifamilies listed by a bank and they're going to take care of those. Right. But that's an unusual situation. Is it? Mm hmm. Yours is. Look at how yes. that time flies. Uh, so, listen, but, one more thing. Uh -huh. the, listen to the price fluctuation on, on listings right now. The cheapest is $5,700 for a, for a house. Okay. The most expensive is 674900 Do you want to buy house. that one, Greg? I'd like to. That's a huge variance. Yes. Yeah. Wow. What's the down payment? On 674 Yeah. Probably 3.5%. Uh, no. Because the cap on oh, because of the be jumbo five, loan, five percent, thirty grand. Yeah. But if you're going to buy that house, take two. probably you don't care. Would be my guess. Well, you care. Well, well you I care, but it's not going to be an issue for you. Where the five thousand one's probably going to be cash. You know, and that's one of the things about multifamily. You were just talking about. Uh, we were just talking about the. Uh, uh, housing starts on multifamily and what a demand there is for it, but it's still hard for buyers because they've got to have so much down payment on a commercial mortgage. Don't, don't, don't get you started. Don't get that. me started on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Try getting commercial, commercial lenders to call you back. Yeah, I had, I actually had a client, I showed, I showed an expensive building this week and the buyer is having a hard time getting lenders to call him back. And, uh -huh. it, and it's a multi-million dollar building. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But that's the, the nature of our it shouldn't be. Time. This is a guy who deals in life and death situations, and his comment was, "If I don't have, if I don't return a phone call, it can mean somebody is not alive next." Right. Or in this situation, if they don't return phone calls, it could mean that the lender's not going to be alive. Next. <laughs> right. No, that the that the borrower, you know, it's, moves could, on or, or loses move, the deal or loses the deal and affects our overall economy in our community. Why wouldn't they return a phone call? Well, I don't know. We can. Uh, could you? We uh, can only ask could you and speculate? ask and ask. We can debate that all day long. Right. I don't know. I mean, it, I can't answer that one. All you could do is say no. Well, right? I'm I'm gonna start making some phone calls when we're done and get people to call him back because this is important to me too. Yeah. Right. It's a huge exactly. deal. That's crazy. If you make money, we all make <laughs> exactly. money, right? 
So anyway. All right. Let's see. I have a price reduction. Somebody buy this Hurry house, up. please. Uh, 230 North <laughs> Forbes. In fact, I think we Somebody had an offer on it, but the bank was a pain. 11825 Oh, yeah, you've said that before. That's <laughs> a you've repeat. said this before. <laughs> well, it's down to 11825 Did the bank decide they'll come down less than their minimum? I can have a response to the short sale in 72 hours. So. Well, we can have a response in 72 hours. So bring us an <laughs> offer on that one, please. Merry Christmas. So what do they do? Call you? Call us yeah. at 780 <laughs> or email us, Laura, at 780-3800.com or thinkingrealestate.com or mark at thinkingrealestate.com. You got a call on that house sign? I did. Jill Slick, did you sell it? No. Oh. Still out there? I don't know. I should check. I didn't look. There's deals. Call us. Happy birthday. Thanks.